Jesus. Now, before you get excited, understand that this is not a stable gold jointed bracelet location. It's a random gold jewelry drop. So that means you'll either get a gold pendant necklace, a gold wedding ring, a gold watch, or the elusive gold jointed bracelet. The easiest way to get around this is to make a save before you enter the cabin and then reload that save if you don't pick up the bracelet, just like the abandoned wagon at the crossroads near Cornwall Kerosene and Tar. Now with that out of the way, let's explore the mystery. Here's the location, a cabin at Robart Farms in Southfield Flats, west of Maddock Pond, north of Rhodes. This cabin is a crime scene that you and Arthur can investigate if you so desire. There's a bunch of loot here too, in addition to that gold jointed bracelet. Jesus! This is a stable location for the Lawrence Dunn Stars of the Stage cigarette card, and here it is. There's also ammo and bourbon and other supplies, but don't ignore the two dead bodies and all the blood. As always, I'm only here during the day to film a video. This scene is far more atmospheric and spooky at night. You'll notice on the map that there's a weapon and another dead body outside, so let's investigate. You can pick up that weapon if you want, but it's a worn cattleman and revolver and how many of those do you really need? The weapon will not show up in the compendium if you do collect it, so I think it's non-essential. Loot the body and you can find the letter to Annette from Claude. You can pause to read, but it's an old story. The psycho ex stalks Claude and his wife Harriet, bursts in and shoots them, and then kills herself. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like and subscribe for more videos, and we shall meet again further on down the trail.